Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. So guys, I just thought I'd uh, report and tell you what's going on with the collection. Unfortunately, we have a few deaths in the collection. Um, my Tireless Whip Scorpion, my male, he has sadly passed away, which isn't that much of a shock because uh, he was getting old anyway. Um, I got him in 2019 from the British Tranchler show and he was I'd say six seven years old so yeah and he had been eating for the last two or three months I've been topping up the water dish I've been trying to feed him and he just hasn't been interested whatsoever so let's just uh, take the enclosure off the shelf and take a quick look so guys let's just take the, the lid off and there he is down there unfortunately guys so yeah like I said, I did. I had a feeling he was going to die very soon. So, yeah. Like I said, I've had him three years, and uh, you can tell he's a male because of the, the pedipalps or the arms. They're absolutely huge. So, yeah. Maybe, you know, like I said, six, seven years old. So he came to the end of his life, and uh, yeah. Another empty enclosure, unfortunately. Um, my two mantis have died. I don't know if it might have been the uh, the heat we've been having in the UK. I buried them in the garden yesterday. Uh, I was going to rehouse the uh, giant rainforest mantis. And I went to rehouse him and he was dead in the enclosure. So, yeah, I'm a little bit um, pissed off with that. Um, never had a mantis die, you know, that small. And the other bad news, <laughs> my mature male, Embal 4, has escaped. So you're probably wondering why I haven't actually done a video. So the enclosure was, the lid was mainly like, like that. So it was just a little bit off like that. And then he must have lifted it up and crawled out. I have looked absolutely everywhere. Um, I've looked behind my wardrobe. I've had my bed out because it's the only room I've actually got to keep my collection. Um, I've had all the racking system out here. I've pulled everything out and I can't find him whatsoever. Um, he's not behind me, my CDs. I've looked behind there. I've looked behind my cabinet here. I have looked absolutely everywhere and I cannot find him anywhere. So, yeah, that, that is actually my mistake, my stupid mistake i should have made sure the lid was on or i should have put this enclosure underneath so the pork was on top because he has been walking around like he's been dying to get out and breed which that was the plan so the plan was to breed him but unfortunately i can't find the little bugger <laughs> so yeah i say three bits of bad news the two mantis and the mature male escaping uh, it's always horrible to lose a, you know, a pet in your collection, but I knew it was coming because, like I said, he, he ain't been eating for the last two or three months anyway, and I've always kept the water dish full, sprayed the enclosure, and uh, yeah, he's been a absolutely brilliant pet in the uh, collection for the last three years, and uh, yeah, very sad to see him go, but. Um, you know, animals don't live forever and you have to be prepared for that. And I've been in the hobby a long time now. So if I do find the mature male, I'll um, I'll let you guys know. Uh, the rest of the collection is doing okay. Um, the suspect male, he's been digging and pushing all the dirt to the front here. So it looks like he's getting ready to molt very soon. Uh, my LP. She's doing okay. She definitely needs a feed tomorrow. So I'm going to feed her her first feed after her malt. Uh, don't really see my adult female embal for in that enclosure much. But the, yeah, like, the, like I said, the rest of the collection is doing really well. Just make sure you top all the water dishes up because of the heat. And then they usually push the dirt in the water dish. <laughs> but yeah, everyone else is doing okay. Another two empty enclosures there. I've got another empty enclosure there. I've got two down here. I've got one with the whip scorpion. That's another empty enclosure. So, 
yeah, I do need a little bit of a top up of some animals or some spiders and scorpions. Scorpion collection's looking a little bit bare as well. So, but we have the Bristol show coming up on the 31st of July. So hopefully I've got some spare cash. I will um, fill these enclosures up. So yeah, a little bit of bad news guys in the collection. Um, yeah, the mature male was my stupid mistake. And, um, but yeah, you can't do nothing about old age, unfortunately. But um, yeah, a little bit of a tour of the collection and let you know what's going on guys. And uh, thanks for watching everyone.